Using the Cascade County Emergency Communications Van, the Great Falls Area Amateur Radio Club unfolded its many antennas and went to work using a portable generator to participate in the annual Amateur Radio Field Day. It runs for a 24-hour period from noon Saturday until noon Sunday. And uh, during that time, uh, radio amateurs from all over the North American continent participate in an exercise, uh, some of them from their own homes uh, with power, and some of us like here, remote. Basically, it's a, a free-for-all uh, to make as many contacts as possible in that 24-hour period with as many stations as possible. Ham radio equipment is always kept in the communications van, so in the event of some type of local disaster, hams can go along and help provide communications. Amateur radio has often provided the only link during some disasters like hurricanes, tornadoes, or even events like the San Francisco earthquake. Within uh, oh, a half an hour of, of the California earthquake, radio amateurs there responded uh, by carting equipment uh, up to mountainsides and, and other buildings that weren't affected by the earthquake to maintain communication. It's a, it's a pretty good service. You know, all the antennas in your neighborhood, uh, they, uh, they do serve their purpose. So the object of Saturday's exercise is to contact as many other hams in the northern hemisphere as possible to assure good communications over most of the United States from any given area. Seven Bravo Germany. Got the five Alpha Los Angeles. You are two eight Montana QSL. Another important part of field day is to show off new and different techniques like using computers, solar power, satellite communications, and a host of other communication links. Of course, the hope is always to get new people interested in ham radio so it stays active. And it's getting easier to get into the hobby. You know, if you fail it once, no big deal. You can uh, take it again the next time. Uh, they're currently offering exams uh, every month, so uh, that makes it quite easy. Before, you had to travel to, uh, for instance, from here, I think you had to go to uh, Seattle or Spokane, one or the other, and uh, the test was uh, harder. You didn't one new ham, while visiting his daughter in Georgia, met some hams who provided the study material. I went to work on the code. It took me about oh, seven weeks, I guess it was. And uh, so then I, I got my license down there and I had it transferred to a Montana number. And I got home here about the 25th of April, so now I'm, I'm just getting interested in this, trying to find out what's going on here. Some new ham privileges are available without studying the Morris Code now. For more information on the local amateur club, the group meets the first Monday of every month in the Campfire Building in Great Falls at 7.30. At the Kings Hill Campground, Fred Pfeiffer, News 16. Traditionally, more Americans die in boating accidents over the 4th of July holiday than 